Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 8.2 Multiples of fractions Our essential question is How can you write a product of a whole number and a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction? So a whole number multiplied by a fraction like this 3 multiplied 2 fifth how can we write it as a whole number multiplied by a unit fraction? So multiply it by one fifth. Or how many fifth? This is our essential question for today. So if we have a whole number multiplied by a fraction, how can we write it as a whole number multiplied by a unit fraction? So to know how we'll do this, let's unlock the problem. Jen is baking four pans of baked ziti. For each pan, she needs two thirds cup of cheese. Her measuring cup can scoop third cup of cheese. How many scoops of a cheese does she need for the four pans? Okay, so she is making four pans, and she needs two thirds cup for each pan. So four pans and each needs two thirds. It means we'll do multiplication to know the total number of cups. But here we have her measuring cup only third cup. So after we multiply four by two thirds, we need to express it as how many thirds or how many multiply one third. So to do this, we'll use a model to write the product of four multiply two thirds as a product of a whole number and the unit fraction, which is one third. So for one pan, which is two thirds, we can decompose it as one third plus one third. Or if we have a repeated addition, we can make it multiplication. We have two of these thirds, it means two multiply one third. But what if we have four bands? For each band, we need two thirds. So here we have how many thirds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thirds. So using the model, we know that we have we need eight thirds. Or four multiply two thirds. And instead of two thirds, we can make it as two multiply one third. So two multiply one third is the same as two thirds. And now we have four multiply two multiply one third three numbers multiplied and because of multiplication is commutative so we can multiply the 4 by 2 first so 4 multiplied 2 is 8 8 multiplied third is 8 thirds so Jen needs 8 third size scoops of a cheese for 4 pans of ziti okay so not every question we will use the model we can make it really quick like this we have 4 multiply 2 thirds we got 8 thirds if we look here we found that the third the denominator doesn't change but we got 8 in the product which is actually the product of 4 and 2 so 4 multiply 2 equals 8 and the denominator we keep it 3 so for example if we have 5 multiply 3 7 we can make it like this we keep the 7 in the denominator and we multiply the 3 by 5 3 times 5 is 15 so we have 15 7 and so on if we have for example 3 multiply uh, 4 fifth we can keep the 5 and we multiply 3 by 4. 3 multiply 4 is 12. 12 fifth. So it's really simple. You just multiply the whole number by the numerator and keep the denominator. So you multiply the whole number by the numerator 4 times 2, 8, and keep the 3. Okay, and now we have a question. What if Jen decides to make 10 bands of ziti? Describe a pattern you could use to find the number of scoops of cheese she needs. 
The models show that Jen needs two third size scoops for one pen, four scoops for two pens, six scoops for three pens, and so on. So the number of scoops is two times as the number of pens. So if she needs 10 pens, she will need 23rd size scoops for 10 pens. And now multiples. You have learned to write multiples of unit fractions. You can also write multiples of non-unit fractions like this. Example two, use a number line to write multiples of two fifths. So to get multiples of any number, you multiply this number by the counted numbers. So you multiply by one, multiply by two, multiply by three, and so on. So here we have one multiply two fifth, which is two fifth, two multiply two fifth, two multiply two four, so we have four fifth, three multiply two fifth, so we have 3 multiply 2 which is 6 fifth and then 4 multiply 2 fifth which is 4 times 2 8 fifth and then 5 multiply 2 10 fifth so the multiples of 2 fifth are 2 fifth 4 fifth 6 fifth 8 fifth 10 fifth and so on so if you notice something it's like the multiples of two multiples of two are two four six eight ten and so on and we keep writing the denominator so you get the multiples of two and you keep just writing the denominator Now, 3 multiply 2 fifth equals 6 fifth. Write 6 fifth as a product of a whole number and the unit fraction. Okay, so 3 multiply 2 fifth is 6 fifth. Here, 1 fifth is the same as 1 multiply 1 fifth. 2 fifth is the same as 2 multiply 1 fifth. 3 fifth is the same as 3 multiply 1 fifth. And 4 fifth is 4 multiply 1 fifth. 5 fifth, which is 5 multiply 1 fifth. And the next one, 6 fifth, is the same as 6 multiply 1 fifth. So 6 fifth, we can write it as 6 multiply 1 fifth. And here he says, explain how you use repeated addition to write the multiple of a fraction as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Okay, you can write the fraction as a sum of unit fractions. Then write the repeated addition as the product of the number of atoms and the unit fraction. So if we have, for example, the six fifth we can make it as one fifth plus 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 one fifth. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. It is Six fifth repeated. So repeated addition. We have how many addons? We have one, two, three, four, five, six addons. So six multiply the unit fraction, which is one fifth. Now share and show. Write three multiples of three eight. To get the multiples of 3 8th, you multiply the 3 8th by 1, by 2, by 3, and so on. So first, 1 multiply 3 8th, which is 3 8th. 2 multiply 3 8th, you multiply the 2 by 3, which is 6 8th. 3 multiply 3 8th, we multiply the 3 by 3, which is 9 8th. So we have 1 multiply 3 8th, which is 3 8th. 
2 multiply 3 eighths which is 6 eighths and 3 multiply 3 eighths which is 9 eighths so the multiples are 3 eighths 6 eighths and 9 eighths or as we said we can just get the multiples of 3 multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 12 and so on and we keep the denominator we don't change it 8 now list the next four multiples of the fraction 3 6 the next multiple is 6 6 which is 3 multiply 2 then 3 multiply 3 which is 9 6 then 3 multiply 4 which is 12 6 then 3 multiply 5 which is 15 6 now 2 tenth which is 2 multiply 1 so the next one will be 2 multiply 2 which is 4 tenth then 2 multiply 3 which is 6 tenth then 2 multiply 4 which is 8 tenth then 2 multiply 5 which is 10 tenth so it's like the multiples of 3 3 6 9 12 15 and so on the multiples of 2 2 4 6 8 10 and so on here write the product as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction here we have 3 multiply 3 fourth if we multiply 3 by 3 it's 9 and instead of writing 9 fourth we can make it 9 multiply 1 fourth like this so again we multiply 3 by 3 which is 9 it's supposed to be 9 fourth or by another way we can make it 9 multiply 1 fourth here 2 multiply 4 so 2 multiply 4 is 8 and instead of 8 6 we can make it like this we keep the 8 and we'll make it multiply 1 6 and now on your own questions you need to list the next four multiples of the fractions 4 5th and 2 4th and here we need to write 4 multiply 2 8th as a whole number multiplied by a unit fraction and here 3 multiply 3 fifth we need it as a whole number multiplied by a unit fraction you will solve these and we will see it together on the live session hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and have a nice day bye bye